Hey Ziggers, it's Dan Leach, and I have two wonderful guests for you today. It's Paul Mann, the CEO of ASP Isotopes, and Stefano Marita, the CEO of Redergen. It's so great to be with you both. Good to be here. Thank you. Thank you for the invite. Paul, let's start with you. What is the strategic rationale behind this deal you guys have together? Listen, both companies are heavily involved in the production of critical materials. Critical materials are defined by most, most governments as those that are strategically important to the country for, for really important activities, either in defense or technology or whatever. So I suggest almost every country are viewed as strategic critical materials, as is helium. We both produce these critical materials in South Africa. So our goal here is to create a powerhouse of, you know, of critical materials and gases and specialist gases, particularly for the electronics market, the healthcare market, and the energy energy markets as well. And there's a real good overlap between the two companies. We're really excited to, to be working together in the future. You gotta, anytime you can get a powerhouse together, it's a good thing. Stefano, if I can go to you, I wanted to ask you about how this merger aligns with your overall business strategy. Listen, you couldn't think of a, you couldn't construct a better situation on on a type between two companies. Um, you've got vertical integration and you've got horizontal integration. If you think about the customer bases, we've both got the exact same set of customer bases. You've got nuclear, you've got medical, you've got rocketry, and you've got uh, semiconductor space. Now all of a sudden you've got a one stop shop for customers. Um, you've got you've got complete um, complete enhancement from a customer point of view, but importantly from a business point of view. Um, and we can touch on this a little bit later in the interview, but you've, you've also got a situation where you've got a competitive advantage by virtue of the fact that we both have operations in South Africa, and that's naturally going to lead to not only synergies, but cost-saving potential, which means bigger revenues, bigger profits for the group. No, of course, and as you mentioned, it's a perfect partnership. And, and Stefano, when you look at the benefits, what are the big benefits of this deal? So the, big, the biggest benefits are from an operations perspective in South Africa, um, we we can centralize all operations and there'll be huge um, co-sharing of, of intellectual property. All of the engineers sitting in one room, you'll have cross-pollination of ideas, strong understanding the science of, uh, of isotopes and nuclear, and on the other side, cryogenics, and you put all of that together. Um, you know, there, there are a lot of exciting prospects for innovation. With central shared services, you've got, uh, you've got massive potential to reduce overall cost scale right across the spectrum. Um, the availability of clean, uninterrupted energy in South Africa is a major plus. That means that we've also got the ability to, to, to significantly reduce the overall cost for, for high-value products that, uh, that ASP brings to the table. And then from, from a customer interaction point of view, imagine instead of having to go and buy from seven or eight different suppliers, one-stop shop and you don't have to worry about supply chain interruptions because it's not a middleman who's buying from seven or eight different companies trying to piece it all together and having to worry about shipping from all over the place. It's one producer who's producing the entire value chain from scratch. I know as a customer, I will get my product. Mm -hmm. Now it just makes things so much more efficient. It's awesome. Paul, let me go back to you. And I wanted to ask you about how this transaction is going to affect your combined market share and competitive position. You know, the companies basically share four primary customer types. We have the semiconductor manufacturers, we have um, space exploration and rocketry companies, uh, healthcare providers, and nuclear power. So you, you couldn't be, get a better overlap in terms of, of customer, uh, customer overlap. And, you know, we at ASB Isotopes was about to start building a sales force to start selling our isotopes into these markets. Well, you know, Steph is, is based in Austin. He knows all the semiconductor companies already. Um, we'll put our headquarters there, and we're right next to a lot of these end markets, you know, right there on our doorstep. So... Um, I think there's just so much, so much overlap in terms of market sharing isotopes. You know, it's only really, um, it's only really one major competitor, and that's Mosatom, which is the Russian Nuclear Energy Corporation. In terms of helium, you know, there are only sort of three or four companies or countries that produce helium. So, you know, this is a very concentrated market with very few suppliers in each. And what is the EBITDA target of the company, Paul? <clears throat> yeah, our target is to generate over three hundred million dollars of EBITDA in in 2030. And uh, I've looked at Steph's business plan, he's looked at ours, and we think that's very achievable. Absolutely. Stefan, if I can go back to you, you know, when you look at the timeline, what is that for completing this deal? Uh, we're, we're anticipating that um, factoring in regulatory, regulatory processes in South Africa, we're anticipating probably somewhere around August. Right, so definitely, uh, you know, not going to take that long to get this thing going. And Paul, when you look at, 
you know, the plan of you know, to integrate the, the two operations of the companies, how is that plan going to come to fruition? You know, it's already going to fruition because we've been down to Velcom to, to visit Stephanie's engineers many times. Uh, they've been to our plants many times. You know, both companies are basically in the business of separating gases in different ways. And so there's a huge amount of overlap in what our engineers do. We can share ideas with each other. You know, I, I, I met Steph in this business sense three or four years ago. Um, we've made many contacts since. And in the last six months, we started talking about putting the two companies together. So there's already been a huge amount of cross-pollination and overlap, and there'll continue to be. I'll, I'll, give, you, I'll give you a great little anecdote. Um, we, were, we were making little modifications to, to the plant on the cryogenic side. And instead of a six to eight month lead time of waiting for critical parts from the US, we literally just picked up the phone to the guys at ASPI in Pretoria in South Africa, said, listen, this is what we need. Can you guys make it? And you know, two, three weeks later, we had the part. Just incredible stuff and very excited for you both. And, the, you know, this obviously merging of the companies. Paul Mann, the CEO of ASP Isotopes, and Stefano Marini, the CEO of Renergen. It was an absolutely fascinating conversation. I just want to thank you both so much for joining me today. Thank you. Thank you for your interest.